Willby, I must say, you look like you have your head in the clouds today. Just kidding, I know, I know. Clouds can be unpredictable, just like the weather they help create. NASA scientists are studying the clouds to learn how they affect not only the weather, but Earth's climate. And they do this with the help of satellites. One of NASA's sensor instruments placed on satellites is called Ceres. Ceres is part of NASA's Earth Observing System and is named after the Roman goddess of agriculture. The name Ceres is an acronym. It stands for Clouds and the Earth's Radiant Energy System. The Ceres program makes accurate measurement of energy leaving the Earth. Lynn Chambers is an atmospheric scientist at NASA's Langley Research Center. She's a member of NASA's Ceres science team. Her job as an atmospheric scientist is to study the atmosphere's physical characteristics, motions, and processes, and the way in which these factors affect the rest of our environment. And we're looking at how clouds, in particular, interact with sunlight in the Earth system and with heat, and how much heat is emitted back to space. Energy from the sun travels to Earth as visible light. Some of the light is reflected off of clouds, the air, and the Earth's surface and travels back into space. But some of the sun's energy is absorbed by the Earth's surface and atmosphere and heats up the Earth. Gas and clouds in the Earth's atmosphere trap some of this heat to make the Earth stay warmer than it would if it were just a ball of rock, like the moon. NASA measures this energy from high above the Earth, with instruments on orbiting satellites constantly scanning and collecting data. This animation shows a week's worth of data collected by Ceres. The yellow areas identify places where the most heat energy is emitted. The blue areas highlight places where the least heat energy is emitted. Over a year, if the incoming and outgoing energies are equal, then the surface of the Earth is not warming or cooling, a balance. This relationship between incoming and outgoing energy can be measured in the radiation budget. So ideally, we want an environmental balance budget, incoming and outgoing energy levels that are the same. We already have pretty good indications that um, there is an imbalance in the energy in versus the energy out. Most scientists agree that Earth is in fact getting warmer, and many suggest that it is being caused by the activities on Earth. You and I can play a big role in reducing the amount of gas levels being put in the atmosphere by doing very simple activities, like riding your bike instead of asking for a ride, recycling, and turning off unused lights. So I guess you could say Ceres is looking out for us from way up there. But we can all do our part right here on Earth to make sure that our world stays at cozy temperature.